your business model, I mean, it is a tech business by any measure. Yeah. Um, but you still need people on the ground, like you said, you know, when is the fabric arriving, getting cut? You need physical, almost like a UN inspector in this yeah. process sort of thing, right? Yeah. 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 Um, so do you see this become a, quite a human resource heavy business at the same time? No, so that's where the data comes into play, right? So what we're essentially trying to build is a data set for each geography we operate in. We do not have to essentially have people in every city and every factory. As the data model starts spitting out prediction models at us, telling us, saying, hey, if the fabric is four days late, the factory does have the capacity to make up that four days lost time during production. They can essentially add a line and get it done. Right. That kind of visibility now we're starting to build we're able to predict better. So you don't have to have that much reliance on humans. Now the data starts predicting what the future is going to say, uh, using historical information, using forecasting information such as, hey, for example, cotton price is up 70% year over year. Um, likewise, you have other markets also experiencing the same kind of uh, price increase. So yes, yes. So then, then, I, then, then I would imagine then you will be welcoming AI and definitely be incorporating AI um, as the next uh, evolution to this tech. Absolutely, right. So what this is going to be in Q3 would be a customer could log in and give us those components of what, when, and where of a shipment and walk away with a DDP price guarantee. Yes. Uh, saying, hey, I know exactly what these goods are going to land at and now you can make more intelligent sales transactions. All of that is going to be powered by AI, obviously telling us what's really happening in, in the supply chain, in the market. Yes.